Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Smart TCG, and today I'm going to be going over one of the most hyped up decks in the Stellar Crown format, and that is going to be Origin Form Palkia paired up with Terrapagos and some of those Terra support Pokemon. This deck has been around Palkia itself for quite some time. However, with the brand new set Stellar Crown, it just gains so much more support and becomes, in my opinion, a top tier deck with that being said we got origin form palkia v star here water type with 280 hp with that subspace swell dealing 60 plus 20 more damage for each benched pokemon both yours and your opponent and has that incredibly powerful star portal v star which allows you to attach three water energy cards from your discard pile to your water pokemon in any way that you like now palkia as i said has been around for some time and it has kind of fallen out of favor however with the brand new set seller crown it gains some incredibly powerful cards like Area Zero Under Depths. Area Zero Under Depths is a brand new stadium card that reads each player who has any Terra Pokemon in play can have up to eight Pokemon on their bench. Palkia V Star Subspace Swell deals more damage for each benched Pokemon. So, this is how we're going to be able to hit those big numbers that you need to knock out those high HP Pokemon. Now, you do need a Terra Pokemon on the field to actually get that boost up to eight. So we got two of those. We got Terrapagos EX here with 230 HP with that unified beatdown dealing 30 times 30 for each of your benched Pokemon. Can definitely ramp up to deal a lot of damage. However, it's mostly going to be here to cover that Terra cost for the um, stadium. We also got Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond EX with that sob attack dealing 20 and then Torrential Pump dealing 100 damage and you may shuffle three energies attached to this Pokemon into your deck and if you do it attack does 120 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Very good. Do snipe those things on the bench create multi-prize knockouts. We got Noctowl as well with that Jewel Seeker one of the most powerful cards if not the most powerful card overall from Stellar Crown if you have a Terra Pokemon in play and you evolve your Hootoot into Noctowl you get to search your deck for two trainer cards put them into your hand just such an incredibly powerful card we got fan rotom as well with that fan call once you're in your turn you may search your deck for up to three colors pokemon with 100 hp or less reveal them and put them into your hand then shuffle your deck really really good as well going to allow you to set up all of those low hp colorless pokemon so that you can evolve them into things like the Bibarel and also Noctowl. We got the Bibarel here um, being able to just you know have more draw power with that industrious ability also got things like Pheasant Dippity as well with Flip the Script. Radiant Greninja is an incredibly powerful attacker in this deck and also consistency card being able to get those water energies into the discard pile. You also have Moonlight Shuriken as well, which paired up with Canceling Cologne can create situations versus those low HP setup decks where you can just pretty much win the game on that second turn, wiping out their support Pokemon. We got Cleffa as well with that grasping draw, draw cards. So you have seven cards in your hand. Very, very good as well. Free retreat Pokemon as well. That you can oftentimes put back into the active when one of your big HP Pokemon gets knocked out. We got Glass Trumpet as well. You can only use this card if you have any Terra Pokemon in play, but it allows you to choose up to two of your benched colorless Pokemon cards like your support Pokemon, like the Noctowl and the Bibarel, but also the Terrapagos as well. And you get to attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to them. Opens up plays where you can use like the energy switch to move energies around, but you can get them onto the board with the Glass Trumpet. Also got Thornton as well. Thornton's another pretty cool card in this deck. When you play against those turbo decks that can knock out a two prizer on the first turn, you can pretty much make your board all one prizers to start the game. Let them take a one prize knockout and then Thornton into a Palkia and kind of start to um, like initiate that two prize card trade, which is pretty cool. So anyways, that's the list. The deck list will be in the description as well. And let's go over exactly how you should be playing one of the best decks in the format. All right, let's hop into it. Alrighty, so hopping into it here, looks like we're going up against Dragapult. Uh, Dragapult's definitely a improved deck with the new Crystal A spec. Um, definitely a thing to think about heading into the next set is you know, how viable Dragapult's going to be. And I think it's going to be pretty good. So we see Ultra Ball here being used. It's going to be discarding two cards. Cleffa and Ultra Ball hit the bin potentially for something like that Rotom. I got to assume that's what they'll be looking for here. Yep. There is the Rotom being used. Going to be hitting the board, and we're going to see that. Oh, Seal Stone as well. So, yeah, pretty good start for them. Definitely a very, very solid um, beginning for them here, and we see that Rotom's instant charge. Going to be setting up the board. Now, we have ourselves a pretty decent start because we got access to Fan Rotom, too. So, there's a Buddy Buddy Puffin, too. So, yeah, pretty ridiculous hand that they drew um, early game. They did have to Seal Stone, but, yeah, pretty scary. The fact um, that they got all this turn... Uh, one, especially without being able to use a supporter. There's the EXP share as well, hitting the board, and we'll see instant charge for three. So, 
pretty textbook. I mean, they got everything they needed. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we'll draw for turn. Going to put down the origin form Palkia. Also going to put down Hoot Hoot as well. And we're going to fan call. Going to be looking for colorless Pokemon. Going to get ourselves that Noctowl, um, Bidoof, and also another Hoot Hoot as well. Going to get some guys onto the field here. We'll go one, two, and then... I do actually um, have the ability to Assault Landing uh, turn one, which is pretty crazy. I can also Gust KO Pidgey here, which is kind of sick. So um, we're going to go Area Zero, and I think I do want to get rid of this Pidgey here. Um, Pidgey is a key support Pokemon for them, so potentially caught them off guard here with this turn one Assault Landing. Very powerful attack here. I'm going to be able to take the knockouts and potentially get myself out of this pretty sketchy hand. So... There is the Iono. That's exactly what we were looking for. And now their board state, they've already burned Seal Stone. Might just fall apart here. The ability to take out that Pidgey here, um, I think puts a lot of pressure onto them. They might have to Iono me, potentially. Um, we obviously have Iono. So, yeah, turn one Assault Landing. Pretty good. Um, <clears throat> pretty good for sure. All right. There is the fourth Dreepy to hit the board here. And there is Arvin. Okay, so... The big question is, is, do they have Rare Candy plus um, the brand new Ace Spect and also Dragapult? Uh, plus, they need energy too. So, they they really need a lot here. I mean, there's a potential that they just take a turn off. There is Nest Ball and Sparkling Crystal, which means they either have an insane hand or they're taking the turn off and getting ready for next turn. And from the looks of it, that might be what's happening. Or they could potentially... Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I was like, based off how they were playing there, probably might get out of this. So... All right, draw for turn. There is the nest ball. So that is huge here because it's going to allow us to get ourselves. Um, I think the wellspring looks like we prized Trapagos. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves wellspring here. Um, <clears throat> will give us also access uh, to the full bench, which is really nice. Get down wellspring. The ability or the effect of area zero has now been activated. Um, we are now looking pretty nice here. We can go knock towel, use that ability as there is now a Terra type on the field. The big question is, is what do I really want here? And we're going to use Jewel Seeker. I'm going to get ourselves. I think the first thing would be Vessel. I think that's what I want. Um, and I think I want to get Nest Ball as well. That's what I want. I guess I could also um, get Ultra Ball. I could go Nest Ball away the energy switch. Or I could, no, I mean, I could Vessel away the energy switch and then Ultra Ball away the two energies. Maybe that's just better. Yeah, I think actually that's what I'm going to do. I'm talking myself into doing this. Um, all right. Uh, we'll go here. Two energies. Because now if I draw into another Noctowl, I can just Prime Catcher. I can just go Prime Catcher and like collect something. So, yeah, this seems pretty good. All right. Um, I guess I could do it this turn too. I could just go Noctowl again. <laughs> Um, but I don't really, I, I mean, I don't need to gust anything. I could KO this. I don't really think I need to the more I think about it. Um, so I think we'll just get Greninja and call it a day here. Um, seems fine. Yeah, because if I just go Ninja here, then I can just gust KO this and then pretty much just win from there, I think. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, cool. Because I think I want to save this Hoot Hoot. Um, so yeah. All right, we'll just, I don't know. Okay, uh, there's another Palkia. That's good. We have access to Ninja as well. Always good. Uh, we have the attachment too, which is important because it makes it makes me feel better about Ninja in this turn. So we'll just go retreats into Ninja. Three energy in the discard pile. Star Portal. Getting three. One, two, three. I could attack with Wellspring, but this just feels a little bit better as it's a one prizer. Um... So we'll go here, and then we'll ninja. I guess I could also just nest ball. Is there anything I really want here? I mean, I guess I could get Cleffa. I guess I could also get Fezendipity as well. Just pop Fez, put it on the board. That's something I'd want if I get, like, Ionoed. Yeah, that seems okay. And then we'll just go ninja. I think I want to save this other nest ball. Let's go ninja. Draw two. There's Noctowl. We want to hold that. Thatch for turn. Then we'll just shuriken one, two. And then, like, they respond to, like, Defiance Span, KO, or something like that. Then it's just a one price. So I think it's a little bit better than Wellspring. But there's definitely an argument for both. All right, we'll go 90 here. And then 90 onto 
the exp one, I'm pretty sure. Seems better to get rid of than the active. I mean, I could also get rid of... Yeah, I think it's better to get rid of this one, because they'll have crystal on any of them. Because, like, if... <clears throat> if there was a spot where there were only two Dreepy on the board, um, then I would KO the one... Um, I would not KO the exp share one, because then, if I KO'd that, then they would just um, get attached to crystal onto the one without a tool. But in this situation, there's just so many of them, it doesn't really matter. So, anyways... Taking the support once again down. Focus on support in this matchup. If you can get rid of that Pidgey, there's not a whole lot sometimes that they can do. So here comes Earthen Vessel. Going to be getting rid of that Buddy Buddy Puffin here. Yeah, our deck is just absolutely cooking right now. <laughs> we got everything we need. Um, things are looking good. There's Dracoloke. Recon Directive. Kind of just feels like they're getting overwhelmed here. Like, doesn't feel like there's a whole lot that they can do at this point. They can, if they can get Dragapult here, they take a knockout, and then we just go Gust KO like Rotom, or even like just KO Dracolok. Then we just win the game with another Gust. Like we just go Gust Gust. We can establish the barrel as well next turn. We'll have Pheasantipity on the board too. Yep, and there's the concession. Just completely overwhelming Dragapult, taking out um, that Pidgey early game. I think just shattered their board. Um, nothing that they could have done there. But anyways, that's a convincing first game. Our deck worked phenomenally. Let's hop into another one. Alrighty, so hopping into it here. Looks like we're going up against something with Duskull. This could be a multitude of things. Could be Zard, could be Palkia, um, could be Terrapagos. Definitely a lot of things. Because we're going to be going up against Zard. One of the best decks in the format here. Getting Briar as well, making it even more of a formidable deck. Gonna see that Buddy Buddy Puffin as well. Double Puffin being used. Double Duskull. Charmander is probably gonna be hitting the board. And yeah, they're off to quite the start. Quite the start for sure. So let's see what they get. Pidgey and a Charmander. There is also the Rotom. So very good start. Double Buddy Buddy Puffin Rotom going first is pretty crazy. Um Plus energy attachment, not super relevant, but definitely good for them. And we will see the instant charge for three. So, yeah, definitely a lot to take in from that. Um, and that is that they got a pretty good start. So we're going to start off here um, just by getting this on the field. I could start with Ninja here, um, but that'd be kind of risky. I don't really want to risk missing a Palk, um, admittedly. That seems quite bad. So we're going to get ourselves a Origin Forum attached for turn. Iono here, pretty decent setup start off we got cleffa too uh ugh. so we missed fan rotom that's a little bit annoying however we do have hutut another origin form which is pretty good uh we have access to grasping draw as well and i guess i could just put down terapagos doesn't really hurt to thin out the hand and i will grasping draw for two cards one two three and four so okay Good start. Um, not the best, but playable. That's what matters. Um, would have loved to get the Bidoof onto the field, but unfortunately was not able to do that. There is the Ultra Ball being used. Get rid of Manaphy and Arvin. Getting Dusclops. see what they get here let's see so i guess we got to look at okay there's dust clops are they going to use this just to move it off the field <laughs> okay i mean i'm okay with that i mean like if they knock out cleffa sure um then i think i could just push up i guess i'd push up hulk but i guess it get hits it depends yeah they're gonna knock this out wow okay um unless they have i mean there's no way that they can reach 220 right so, i mean we'll take the prize so water energy um there is give them palkia here i think that's like fine i don't think there's like any reason not to um i think i'm gonna give them the this one if it gets ko'd at very worst the energies get dumped into the discard pile so like that's fine i mean they might just have rare candy zard and then just punch me here i really don't know um there's arvin okay i mean this is gonna be for probably seal stone rare candy um it, it kind of just depends on what else they have in the hand it could be a multitude of things but good start for them definitely yeah rare candy seal stone no surprise there seal stone being dropped and we see the seal stone being activated here 
Hopefully, this is not for Rare Candy Pidgeot and Rare Candy Charizard. Definitely be a little bit scary, but, um, you know, can't keep your hopes up. Anyways, Rotom being used. Rare Candy. Rare Candy Charizard. That ability, Infernal Rain. Alrighty. And hit for 210. Okay. Not terrible. Not great. But it's fine. We'll go area zero. Gonna open up our bench space. Just give us more things to work with. We'll go buddy buddy puffin. Let's get these down onto the board. Oh, we prized the Badoof anyways. Never mind. Okay. So it would not have mattered. Um anyways, uh, let's see. We'll go here. Mess ball. Grab ninja. Is there any ogre pond play I can make here? Potentially. I guess I could go like, eh. Don't really think I even want to push for it. Doesn't seem great. It's just hitting this is like fine. If they activate Duskull again, go down to four. I guess I could go down to two at that point. Um. A little bit scary. We'll drop Fez. I think we'll just research. We do get active. Yeah, we do get activation of Fez. So, all right. We'll just research and see what we get here. Um, I have a decision to make. I guess I could actually do the Ogre Pond play and wipe Duskull and Pidgey, which is potentially good. I, I, hmm, that's interesting. I think I might want to do that. The more I think about that, um, or just, or just like the ninja. I guess actually just like ninja would also be better to do that instead. Yeah, I, I think it's the ninja play. Because if I can get those both off the board, I think I'm fine. Because it means that I can go down to one prize and they can't do the dust snore play. Um, all right, flip the script as well. Just accumulating this just massive hand. <laughs> um, this is crazy. Okay, so, um, three energy in the discard. Seems pretty good. We can knock towel here because we have Terrapagos on the field. This is going to be for Prime Catcher, and if it's in the deck, yeah, it's in the deck. Okay. This is going to be for Prime Catcher, and the other card I'm not 100% certain on. Um, there's a lot of things I could grab here. Um, it could just be another Area 0 at this point. I can attach for turn. Like, getting to the Area 0 seems decent. Um, I could get a Super Odd as well. That's, like, something else I could grab. Um... I don't really need anything else with this card. Because if they own it, I'd be fine drawing in a Voss. Um, seems fine. And we can trap the ro attempt to like trap the Rotom here. Um. All right, Prime Catcher. Bring up Rotom. Because how many energy they're down? They're down. They only have maybe one or two left. So yeah, this seems good. All right, Prime Catcher, bring up Ninja, evolve into Palkia. This one, well, then Star Portal, three energy, one, two, three. Attach for turn onto this one, just because we want to put all of our eggs into one basket. Uh, we'll go here. So it like splits the energy. I guess I could also just like energy switch as well, but I, I don't want to do that because if they get gust on this, I might not have a response. And I have glass trumpet, so I have definitely a lot of things I can do. All right, we'll just shuriken. 90 on Duskull, 90 on Pidgey. Taking both of these threats out. The Charmander, I don't really care about getting rid of at the moment. If they become Zards, whatever. Uh, my price trade is pretty um, straightforward, I think. So, all right, Badoof area zero. Cool. Because for them to take five prize cards, they're going to have to bench something else. I pretty much know that. Or else I just win in enough attacks, I think. There's collapsed. I mean, that's fine. I can get rid of Van Rotom. Knock Towel. I could get rid of the Origin form. I guess I could because then if they KO, I mean, I, like kind of, that's like super risky. I could, like, read them that they don't have it. I mean, I guess I could just, like, go Terrapagos Punch anyways. 
Um, I really want to keep Pheasant Dippity on the board, but I guess if I have this anyways, I can just get Pheasant Dippity back anyways. We'll just dump that. That's fine. They also can't bench any other small... Actually, the more I think about it, they might not even be able to bench any small things. So I can just gust. All right, there's Arvin. This is probably going to be... I mean, I really don't know what this could be for. It's unfair stamp. Okay. Cologne. Just thinning it out to the deck. Don't want to redraw into that. And yeah, this is close. This is very close. Um, really depends on what we draw off here, if we can do much. That was the concern of dumping Fez, though. Because, like, I don't know what A-spec they played. Because, like, if they could, like, go, like, I don't know. It's it's interesting. They need to have an energy here. If they don't have energy, it's really bad for them. Because I just get a full turn to just pass. <laughs> so... We'll see. What do they got? That is the big question. What could they possibly have? Um, They're definitely thinking here. All right. Pass it off to me. Draft return. There is a knock towel. That's what we needed. Okay. So now we're fine. Uh, we can go knock towel. Gets, I think, Stadium Research seems like fine. And just send it. <laughs> yeah, Stadium Research. That's what we're getting. We'll go Area Zero. And this is what the, like, this is the point of like what we did was we got rid of the Pidgey, which just took away um, their consistency. Like, that's what you have to do against these decks is just take away their consistency. All right. We'll get Bidoof down onto the board. Then we'll research. Because now we have most likely just three turns to win this game. We just need to find energy here and we're set. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go retreat. Apalkia. Patch for turn. Um, I guess I can evolve here. It's probably fine. Flash trumpets. More energies onto the board. One here. One here. Seems fine. I can look to energy switch at any point in the game. And I will subspace well for 220 here. Now, they can just respond. Take a KO. That's okay, because I can just go Palk, Palk, back to back. Um, Because they are at five prizes. So, very achievable, obviously. I think, um, yeah, we can just get ourselves potentially a barrel back with something like a, you know, stretcher rod. But we'll see what they have here. They also got to get that other Charmander. To guarantee survive another turn, they got to get that Charmander into a Charizard, which, without any Pidgey, once again, is pretty difficult. So, we'll see what they can do. Thinking about what they want to promote here. We really should just be fine. We should just win this game, though. Um... What do they want to promote? Oh, and they just conceded. Anyways, so we were able to get that game there. Pretty much had it locked up for the most part. Um, even if they KO'd, um, there's a lot of stuff that we could do. We were looking pretty good. But anyways, that's how you want to beat some of those decks, like Charizard and Dragapult, is you just want to be able to go after um, their small things, get rid of them with the Radiant Greninja. It starts to kind of cripple their board state, and then you can take over. Um, yeah, but anyways... That's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for all the support. As always, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will be getting consistent Stellar Ground content out. And that being said, this is SmartTCG, and I'll speak with you guys again soon. Peace out.